Can I wear your glasses? Oh, yeah. I should have asked that not on camera. Make sure, like, they're not too makeup y. But it's okay if they are. Oh, this isn't too bad. They're not not that intense. Hey, guys, welcome to your show. I'm Joe. I'm Elliot. I'm new, so I don't know where you want me to go next. Yeah, there we go. We're going to have a fun adventure today answering prompts from YouTube.com. Oops. And also, whoop, uh, Patreon.com slash The Valley, folk. Uh, and Do we you want to take the whole thing again? No. Oh my god, amazing. Oh, have we talked about... This is fun. Did you guys talk about this one? No, that's a great one. Okay. Uh, hello. <laughs> Get ready for a question. <laughs> Joe's the new Siri. Just in case you are here for the first time, hello, welcome. Emily Wyman says, <laughs> This is a YouTube channel that's been made by AI, so. What is the dumbest way you've been injured? <laughs> Mine is slicing my finger open on a can of spaghetti. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's the only way I get injured, oh, I, is I, stupidly. Yeah, oh, that is same. I, it's never like a cool thing. No, yeah. And which is pretty, <laughs> yeah. that's how I know How'd you get that? Die. Saving someone. <laughs> yeah, I know. No, yeah. I actually, I like, cut, not bad, but I managed to cut myself with a butter knife once. Oh. I did that. I'm just the worst it's, in the kitchen. Yeah, that's, that's like a that. paper cut bad, right? Like yeah. it's like yeah. annoying and yeah, it's like, how yeah. bad was it? It wasn't bad at all. It was just like, wow, I cut myself with a butter knife. Who the f*** does that? The worst is when you're like eating and you bite your tongue really bad. And then yep. you keep biting it because yeah. it's swollen and, then you keep and in the way. It. <laughs> Funny how you play with it. nobody sees it, nobody knows you did it, but you are still embarrassed and you feel dumb. Mm-hmm. And then you still inform everybody. Well, you I do bit this my tongue. Yeah. Bit yeah. my tongue. I'm you so go, sorry. I'm such mm. an idiot. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, I have a good one. One time um, I was up late doing homework because I'm a nerd. Still at home with my parents. They mm-hmm. turned all the lights off and I was like uh, walking to my room and I turned too soon and ran right into the wall. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. My like chapstick marks were there and I was like this far away from my like eye hitting the corner of like the air conditioning yeah. unit. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I've done that. I've, done, I've walked directly in Florida. There's a lot of sliding glass doors. Yeah, I, I think I've, I probably walked you done it. directly into many of them. You did it. Uh, yeah, and then I did one as a kid where I fell off a bike and smashed my face. And then I did another where I didn't see that the sliding glass door was dark on the outside and light on the inside and then walked through while like in my underwear in a public place and then like slammed back <laughs> so hard that I fell yeah. backward completely. Oh no. Um, yeah, yeah, just don't make things clear. We need a frosty glaze on all frosty windows. Frosty glaze on everything. <laughs> What's worse, when you smack into the glass and you're like, oh boy, I thought it was open and then you open it and leave? Or when you smack into the and screen and rip the screen <laughs> and you go through it. Yeah, anytime you gotta replace something with a dumb that. injury. <laughs> I've gone through the screen. I've gone, got I've, yeah, I've gone through a screen and torn through it into the other side and gone, well, ah. Like you're revealing yourself yeah. like a magic <laughs> yeah. I'm here. I remember the first time that my dad let go while teaching me to ride a bike. It was that moment of like, yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. When I hear my dad go, no! The road turns oh, and I'm going straight no. and right at the turn is a telephone pole. Oh, no. And I'm speeding up. I don't know how to brake, but you know it's gonna happen. I'm just hearing dad going, no, no! And just <laughs> right into the pole. Yeah. Wham. So like, like last year. Yeah. Yeah, one time my yeah. dad, when I was like three or four, yeah. my dad made a fort and like in the backyard, which was this kid haven and then he put a fire pole on it is that what they're called uh-huh. and then i remember being like i'm gonna do this this is so exciting and my dad was like just grab a hold of it and grip and then slide down and i was like i can't wait this will be so fun and i was like got it and then just let go ah <laughs> uh, you pull the gloves out i fell so hard <laughs> i pulled the gloves out yeah <laughs> and i i broke i broke my ankle and my dad felt so bad and, and then had to go Tell my mom that it wasn't a bad idea that he oh. put a fire pole in the backyard. You Dude, had a broken because he broke had a dumb son. It. Yeah, I broke. I entirely so shattered. So with you, my... it's more like, have you injured yourself ever, not in a stupid way? Yeah, right. that's, that's more. The that's question. a tougher <laughs> question. Yeah. Yeah. That's a harder question. It usually is dumb, isn't it? I once fell. You know how like uh, those little school playgrounds are just like big plastic and wood, and yeah. they're just like big old play toys, are they called? Mm-hmm. And like there'll be a pole standing here, and then there'll be a, a horizontal thing attached to it that you stand on, you mm-hmm. know, a platform. Mm-hmm. But they're always connected by a space in uh-huh, yeah. like a bar. Mm-hmm. I fell into that space Great. in first grade. Good. And mangled 
everything. Really? Just metal, metal, metal? Just, just mangled everything. And I was in first grade and I looked, I went to the bathroom. I very calmly went to the bathroom and I looked oh, in and it you. was like, oh, oh, uh, oh. And it was destroyed. Do you, um, have you ever done like trust exercises? <laughs> I one time was doing a trust exercise no. where you were leading each other and I, um, I thought he was faking with the blindfold, and I was just like, don't lie that you're not, that I know you're peeking through the blindfold, and I know you can see exactly where you're going, so you're not really trusting me. And I was like, I'm gonna call his bluff. And oh, I was like, so I'm gonna lead him. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna lead him directly into this pole because I'm sure he's cheating. And he, it turns out, did trust me. Oh, and that's he, not and he, he, he smashed head first into the, <laughs> into the pole. And I felt so bad. And actually now, I'm, I'm talking about it. I felt bad about that for a long time. Aww. But uh, he's fine, I'm sure. He's, he's fine. Oh, I hurt my finger trying to kick my mom in the butt once. Yeah. Let us know in the comments what your dumbest injury is, because. Make make us feel better. Yeah, make that's that great. Um, <clears throat> someone on Twitter asked. <laughs> uh, <laughs> someone named Jameson asked on Twitter if you could have any sci-fi invention available immediately, what would it be? Holodeck. I guess it's the holodeck. It's right. always gotta be. You go anywhere you want. Oh, because you can experience Star Trek. No, the holodeck is you can get anything you want. You can have anything. It'll materialize anything. I would rather some form of transportation, like like the TARDIS. Yeah, give me the TARDIS. Like, I would like to operate. Just like you would. Go oh, you would like place. a Harry Potter wand then? How about that? Sure, sure. But like, I just don't want to ever sit in traffic or have to park my car ever again. I think a TARDIS. I, I'd like a TARDIS. I'd like a TARDIS. Yeah, that thing has no rules. There's That's no a, rules. Just like the show, you can do inside. anything with that damn TARDIS. Yeah, yeah. any you kind go of plot, anywhere yeah. you want, any direction. Yeah, anything. It's really a day. Plus, it looks cool. So many tears in time. I don't know anything about Doctor Who, but it's a cool looking. It, no one just, doesn't like an old It's just a phone time boot. machine that's like indestructible. But it's more than a time machine. But it looks yeah. cool in your living room. It's too. also like your best friend, and then it materializes as a woman in season six, episode four. And then you have did sex with it because it you have to. And then you're having sex with your magic sci fi thing because you have to. Yeah, and you've had children in, in it before. Because you have to. But then you go back in time because you're like, I don't want these magic sci fi sex box children. But you still have the relationship, but you're allowed to change the plot anytime, anytime. Anywhere. Anytime. Anytime. I don't know. I don't know if I want that much power. I might like the magic wand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep it simple, you know. Holodeck, um, man. I think that's the way to go. Yeah. If I hadn't, if I had run into fewer sliding glass doors in my day, maybe I could handle something like the TARDIS. But yeah. I know myself yeah. We, we, we don't want you to have that. No, either. Yeah. Just give me that's the thing. That's true. That'd be cool. I'm not gonna practice what too much. What is you know? the TARDIS if it isn't just a metaphor for a big ass glass sliding door? Yeah. Exactly. Right. Banjo solo? Or? Banjo solo. Okay, great. It's not a solo anymore. Now we gotta be quiet for um, five minutes and 70 seconds when the secret bonus track kicks in. What if we did it? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see it. Yeah. Do you have those? Is that what you're pointing at you? Joe had, yeah, Joe had facial lines. Oh, yes, um, in front. Joe got into a bad car wreck between A New Hope and Empire, and it's that's why he looks a little different in Jedi. Doesn't like to talk about it, but if you'd like to support him.